Should you get rid of the last name? This is Kendall Anish, your fave life coach, the remix coach for remixing relationships, a poll. Okay, so when you are married and you carry your husband's last name, right? Should you continue to keep the last name or should you get rid of it in a divorce? That's the first part. The second part, I know people are going to say, uh, if you have children, you want to keep it. I did the same thing, right? But once the children get older, do you switch it back to your maiden name or do you continue to write it out with your ex-husband's last name? I want to know how the men and women feel about this. One more thing about it. I'm going to answer all the questions before y'all even ask. I know some will say, well, I have made a life for myself with this name. Even saying that, what do you guys think? Yes or no? I'm so glad to hear from a man from this question. You said you asked your wife to remove her last name, your last name, and go back to hers because you realized she was never my wife or for me. I filed for divorce, felt it would be better for her. That's a great perspective. And I know a lot of guys ask for their name back and some women say no, then when you go on to get married again, if that's the case, then you got the two women in there. So I do appreciate this. And I'm curious to know what her response is. Because for a man, that has to be interesting because she takes on your last name. So then if you say she was never a wife or you divorce, then you have someone out there carrying your last name. It's interesting to wonder like what men think about that. I know some are totally okay with it. And like you, you have good reason. Thank you for this comment. I'm so glad that the men are chiming in on this. You say women don't want to give up the last name. Most will say so she and the kids can have the same name, personal experience. I've heard that before as a woman with women saying that. So I appreciate that uh, comment. And how did you feel about that? Did you agree with her or do you, did you disagree? Let's talk about it. And I want to hear from more of the guys because I'm happy that you guys are chiming. I get that. I hear that often. But I have a question for you. I'm just curious. Have you gotten remarried? And if so, does your new wife carry your last name? And does, if she still, your ex still carries your last name, how does that work? And how does your new wife feel about it? And if you're not married, how will that process go if you decide to get married again? I'm just curious. Let me know in the comments. Thank you. Thank you for this. And then there's that. That is the flip side. So she's not wanting to change her name and she didn't and everything still has your name on it. But then she gets into another relationship and he's like, why you got dude's last name? I thought that was your ex-husband. And see, and there's the, the issue. I never even thought about it on that side, but that's the flip side of it. And she, you said she, you asked her to change her name because she is your ex-wife, but she got angry. I wonder if she got angry because some people don't want to see the finality of things. And even though you're divorced in a weird way, changing her name back is the finality of the relationship and addressing that it didn't work or it's over, even though she's moved on. That happens all the time. Thank you so much for your comment. And again, thank you men for... Well, I totally agree with you. And that has been my experience also. When you change your name back, I was married. You change your name back to your maiden name. And then in school, you have a different name. So like you said, it carries a certain stigma that is untrue moral assumptions. Absolutely. And then now my kids are grown and I have two daughters. They're not married. So our last names are different. So they probably assume a whole lot of things. That's totally unfair and true. So it's totally like you can't win, right? You want to change your name to get your identity. As one of the guys said, a woman needs her identity back. And you don't want to be attached to a guy. But then once you change it and you have children, so that goes both ways. That's why some women decide to keep it. And then if you get remarried, then your name is going to be different anyway. So women always catch the stigma. Thank you so much for this comment. This is interesting because I asked this question to someone today. So you're saying that you changed, you changed yours. 
then divorce, but you kept your married name. And then if you remarry, you will hyphenate your name because it's your son's name. So you'll have one ex-husband and then one current husband. Let me tell you, yeah, your new husband is going to be like, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. How you going to have his name and my name? So, yeah, do people do it? Absolutely. But you're right. It, it might it might delay that if you want to hold on to that. And I get it because it's your son's. But I do get that. That's the tough one. This, girl, you had me laughing out loud for real. You said you broke your neck getting back to the DMV to change your name. I'm sure you were down at Social Security and everything else. All I want is my name back. Sometimes it bees like this. This is funny. See, and that's difficult because like you said, you have to rebrand yourself um, and launch yourself with your new name and allow people to get to know that name. But then also you still have to attach yourself to your married name so they can join those two to know it's the same person. It's a lot. Men don't have to deal with changing their names, right? So it, that's a very interesting uh, part of it that I think a lot of people don't talk about when it comes to keeping that name. I wish you well, and I hope everybody recognizes you with your new name. And would you change your name again if you got married again? And I see a lot of women saying this, um, and this is true because the family ties don't dissipate. Whether you keep the same last name or not, like, my oldest daughter is 31 years old, and we just went to my ex-husband's birthday party with his new wife and everything, and it has become family. It has been family for many, many years, so I totally agree. I ain't keep his last name, though, but I totally agree. He's remarried, so that would be weird to me for us to have the same last name, his former wife, me, and his new wife, her. That would be weird to me, but family, you're right. It does not dissipate. You said I birthed the only two heirs. I'm done more with that name. Once my youngest is 18, then I'll change it. But until then, you and your kids going to have the same last name, and he hates it. You know he hates it. Does he hate it, hate it, or he's just jokingly hate it? Like, yo, why do you still have my last name? Or he's like, I can't believe you still have my last name but not the heirs you want to keep the throne alive you want to have the heirs have his last name which he already they already will but you said you were part of that legacy too i hey i ain't mad at you have a good day thank you for your comment <coughs> listen <laughs> there's so many women on here saying that they're gonna keep the name they don't care they're gonna hold that name hostage the ex-husband don't want them to have it. They're going to hold it hostage. But you said you're going to send his name back like cold soup. Waiter, waiter, my soup is cold. Hilarious. Thank you for your comment. Threw it where? Back there? Threw it where? Back there? You got rid of that name so quick, fast, and hurry. You said DMV, Social Security, voters registration, and passport. I am not mad at you. Handle your name-changing business. Hilarious. Back. These responses are cracking me up because I like the balance because a lot of guys were like, they won't give me my name back. And then some of the women are like, I'm keeping the name because my kids got the name. So when I see comments like this, they tickle me so much because it's true. She said she done done it before it was finalized. Like, give me my name back. Here's yours. Thank you kindly for the time that I had it, but it is yours again. Thank you for the comments. I love y'all. Give me my daddy's name back. <laughs> I took my daddy's name back too. Uh, yes. Can I get my daddy's name back, please? Thank you. This is so funny. Thank you for this comment. I understand this on both sides because I was on both sides. So I totally get it. And people have their reasons why they do it. And to me, if the ex-husband is cool and the ex-wife... This. This, this, this. Big L, you speaking facts, brother. He said, if you get married by state, don't let the state decide what will happen with your assets. They didn't pick your spouse right. 
also get a prenup and have the uncomfortable conversation early, early in the dating phase. Like, hey, what do you think about marriage? Because some people don't even want to get married. So those are the questions, you know, how are your finances? How do you spend? How do you save? Are you a saver or a spender? You know, asking those questions, what is your plan as we age? And if you are interested or have you ever considered a prenuptial agreement. I think that's before feelings get involved in all of that. If you're just meeting someone for the first time, now can people change their mind? Absolutely. But definitely have that conversation early. Thank you so much for this comment. She said all she wanted her name. Remember she was in court? That scene, she wanted that name because she was established. She was anime Bullock before. Tina Turner was her stage name. She wanted her name back. And she had it until the day she passed away. because my god sister changed her name to Amor, and that means love. So it's interesting. You didn't have your dad's last name or your mom's last name, so then when you get married, you never change your name. So that's an interesting um, whole situation. So what name do you go by now? Do you go by the name that they made up for you, or did you make up your own? Because, like I said, my god sister did that. So you could be whoever you, you, you want to be, right? So people say it's all in the name, but if you make up your own, then what? Thank you for this interview.